Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Nikki's Crafting Corner. I'm Nikki. Welcome back if you've been here before, and welcome if you are new here. Wow. What a week, huh? Whew. I'm glad this week is over. <laughs> so, how is everybody doing before we get into it? We've all survived the week, hopefully. Cheers to that, guys. Grab a cup of coffee, grab some tea, grab juice, water, soda, whatever you drink. Grab your work in progress, your whip, WIP. Um, keep your eyes on the road if you're driving, please. We don't want any accidents out there. And um, let's get going. So if you're new here, what a whip is, is I will be be kind of talking about my week, what's going on in my life, and keeping you ent entertained for a little bit while we all work on our projects. Whatever they may be. Cleaning the house, driving to go pick up the kids, doing some errands, um, whatever. Just chilling out when you should be doing chores, whatever. I'm not going to judge you. Whatever you're doing, um, I'll keep you company. So hopefully this is like a retreat from the craziness of the world. Just your little happy place where you can go and kind of get away from it all. Now I am working on a diamond painting right now. This diamond painting is Duchess by Reagan Kubisak. And it is a Dreamer Designs canvas. I finally, guys, for those of you who have been here, know that I've been struggling with this. I finally got her face done. Isn't she beautiful? Check that out. She is beautiful. So I got her face done and I'm on to my third section, row or whatever. Now I didn't section this too well. This is my first time sectioning diamond paintings. And I'll be honest, I didn't do sectioning too well. These top sections were huge. These bottom sections are kind of big still. I'm not good in math. I'm not good at measuring. I'm a quilter, surprisingly. I don't know how that happened. Thanks, Ginny. Um, that's my ex-mother-in-law. But anyway, um, I somehow got all my sectioning all off. So the sections are not proportional. So I'm in this section now. I'm hoping by the end of today, I'll have this section done. And I really need to get going and get this done because I'm going to, come hell or high water, be doing the Hannah Lynn Diamond Paint Along in April. And I really don't wanna have this one not finished when I get into the Hannah Lynn. I have the Mother Earth um, Diamond Painting, Hannah Lynn's Diamond Painting. So that's the one I wanna get into. But I'm one of those people that likes to finish before I start something new. So I'm going to have to, I don't know, hook up the coffee IV or something and keep myself awake to get this done. So that's that. So let's talk about the accessories I'm using this week real quick. Here is my diamond cover minder that I showed you last week. I do have a unboxing video that shows you this one. And then you'll see a new cover minder this week. My little toad with the witch's hat cover minder. Now I don't have an unboxing video of this one and I regret it. Um, I should have done an unboxing video, but life got in the way. This is from Nick's, uh, Nick's Notions. And I also got a venti tray from Nick's Notions. Now I know before you say anything, I know there was a lot of drama going on um, recently um, with Nick's Notions and, and um, some other people. I don't want to get into that. I just want to say that um, I ordered these before all of that. I don't want to get into that drama. Um, please don't put it on the channel. Um, I'm very happy with the products that I ordered from her. They did take a long time to get here. I will, and on a side note, I will be ordering um, 
products from that other place. If you know, you know. Um, these did take a long time to get here, but as soon as I ordered them, I did get a message. Now, I ordered these the beginning of February, and they got here last week, I believe, or the beginning of this week. And I did get a note as soon as I ordered them that because she makes them all on the 3D printer, um, they would take a long time to create. She was behind on orders and that there would be a delay. So that was good customer service. And I guess at that point, if I wasn't okay with that, I could have canceled them, I'm sure. But I had decided to wait. So that's just a heads up. Um, but like I said, I don't want to get into all that other stuff so anyway so that is what I'm using and then I found this pen at the dollar store and it is so cute and I'm not using it to diamond paint but I wanted to show you because I just love it it's got a big diamond and rose gold it's rose gold it's a regular pen and I'm just using it to write but I was writing my notes for today's whipping chat and I was like oh my gosh I have to show them and it was right sitting there, right by the impulse buys at the checkout. And I was like, yeah, you got me with that impulse buy. <laughs> I'm a sucker. So I was so excited with that. So that's my new pen. Um, anyway, all right, let's get into it. I have a whole bunch of color blocking to do. So I'm going to start down my painting. Now, the one thing about this tray, and it has nothing to do with... Um, the creator of the tray. I put black um, beads, diamond painting uh, beads in here first. And I really had a hard time with the contrast. There wasn't much contrast and it was killing my eyes. I think it's just my old eyes. So I had to use a different tray for my black beads. And it does take a little bit of time to get used to using this i'll just show you I'll show you guys the tray one second if you haven't seen these trays they have a funnel that comes in and out so it blocks you so you so you won't lose your beads when you're shaking and lining them up and see i'm, I'm not good at putting oh there we go see it goes right back in you just slide it right back in and then you can shake all you want and your beads aren't going anywhere, okay? But it takes, you have to hold it with a finger because when I first started doing it, I wasn't holding it and beads got out and escaped. And then when you're ready to put them back in your container, you just put your container down, lift this little, take it out, and there go your beads back in your container. So it's really a nifty little, um, nifty little design. And uh, so there are several creators that design uh, sell this one. This one was from Nick, uh, Nick's Notions. There's Muni Made. Muni Made does amazing work. I'll be buying a tray from her um, very soon. Um, all right, let me just get, I should have kept my beads in order. Now they're all messed up. Why did I do that? Anyway, so you never have enough trays, I'm telling you. All right, let's go. So there we go. I got some beads. I'm going to have to shake a lot because this whole area is A, and then there's very slim area of two. Not that you need to know that. All right, so let's get into the whip and chat. What have I been up to? All right, so last Friday was one of those days that I just, I don't know. Last Friday was a kind of a nerve wracking day for me. And I promise the whole whip and chat won't be like this. It, there'll be very funny, um, fun stuff going on. Oh, wait, before I get into that, all right. I need you all to do me, well, before I get into that, this week has been a whirlwind, let me tell you. The new members that I've gotten since I put the, um, the new subscribers I've gotten since I put the Michaels video up, 
thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome. Because um, I've gotten so many new subscribers since the Michael's Grab Bag video. And I'm so excited to have you all here. It is amazing. I love it. Every time I see that new, subs new subscriber button go off and I get that notification, I squeal like a little kid. It's so fun and so exciting. So thank you. I'm so excited to have all of you with me. Um, and I have one more accessory I want to talk about before I get into the week. This accessory is on my hand, okay? So look at this cute little bracelet. Isn't this cute? Rainbow. I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a, what do they call those? Anybody know what they call that design? Is it a, it's like a rubberized braided bracelet. And it's got a little, no, I, I practiced putting this under the camera before. It's got a little cupcake on it. Can you see the cupcake? My little friend made me this. She had a bake sale. And I have to tell you about this girl. She is so crafty. She had a bake sale and she decided baking wasn't enough. Okay. Baking wasn't enough. She is such a uh, uh, little entrepreneur. Baking wasn't enough. She had to sell souvenirs is what she called these. She had to sell souvenirs as well. So, of course, I had to buy a souvenir. Um, I just love it. I think it is um, great when, when uh, children are creative and how they can be. I love watching their minds when they get an idea and just follow through with it. Um, her bake sale was amazing. She even sold autographs that her and her brother did. They have, um, they each have a YouTube channel. Um, they each have a YouTube channel as well. And they signed their autographs from their YouTube channels. So that was quite adorable. So, um, I just thought it was the cutest thing. So, yeah. So that was really cute. So that's the bracelet I'm wearing today. So she is uh, quite the little entrepreneur and crafter. So that was fun to see little minds at work. All right, now let's get into my week. And if you wanna give her some love actually, her YouTube channel is Crafty Cat, Crafty Cat Kids, if you want to give her some love. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. So, um, where are we? Okay, last Friday. Last Friday, I had... scheduled a CAT scan for my knee because my knee was still bothering me. For those of you that have been here, you know I had surgery on my knee last August and it just didn't heal up properly or something's going on because it still hurts. So I had to go for a CAT scan on it and they had to fill the knee with saline before they did the CAT scan. So that was not fun at all. So I had to get that done and uh so I went for that. I put on my brave face, my big girl panties, went for that. And then I came home and I just kind of shuffled around, got on Pinterest. And you know what happens when you get on Pinterest and you start looking at different things up. I fell in the rabbit hole of Pinterest. <laughs> um, I don't even know where I went. Anybody else have that happen? You go in the, the rabbit hole of Pinterest and not know where you end up or why you were even there. That's what happened last Friday. I, I don't even know where I went. Uh, and then I started talking to my dad. And my dad, I, I tell you, I love my dad. He is like the best. But when it comes to medical things, he 
drives me nuts. He thinks that um, the doctors are somehow out to scam me. Um, you know, they don't know best. They just want to give me medicine and, and uh, you know, give me medicine for no reason. And I shouldn't take it because, you know, they're, they're out to scam me or something. I don't know. So... <laughs> So I had a phone call with him and, you know, had to listen to all that. And I love him, but I have to compartmentalize and realize that he's coming from a place of fear. He's, he's afraid of what, you know, I'm his daughter and there's fear there. So I dealt, had a conversation with him and just, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with my knee at this point. I just had the test. So I'm like, okay, I'm in a lot of pain. You know, I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if they're going to want to do surgery again. I'm just going to, you know deal with whatever comes and hopefully it won't be too bad so i i'm trying not to be full of nerves so that was friday saturday believe it or not i haven't been shopping in like two weeks is that amazing saturday we i just hung out at the house i was gonna do a bunch of organization and stuff and it just never happened i just sat on the couch and I was like, I don't want to move. I want to put the canvas over me and I just want to watch TV. And that's what I did. It was weird. That's what I did Saturday. And honestly, that's what I did Sunday too. I ended up falling asleep, waking up, eating something and falling back to sleep. It was a weird weekend. I don't know if I... I don't know. I was just in in a weird off mood. So that was how I spent my weekend. Um, Monday, I was like, all right, I got to get to my diamond painting because this is ridiculous. I didn't do any diamond painting all weekend. Like I need to be diamond painting if I'm going to get this done. So Monday, I got back to diamond painting. I got the middle section here done. Um, well, let me show you the middle section, this section. Still can't show you. Not this section done. Yeah, still can't show you. I'm gonna get there. This section done here. Monday. Her uh, her second eye. Um, got that done on Monday. And so I felt accomplished on Monday. I was like, yes, I got something done. And then in the afternoon, I went over to my friend's house who has a split level. And split stairs are not doing well with my knee right now. And uh, the split level was just ch jerking my knee around way too much. So I had a lot of issues with the split level. Um, so when I came home, I was kind of frustrated, but I was still okay. Came home, had dinner, I don't even remember what I ate, and kind of just chilled out the rest of the night. Um, Tuesday, I diamond painted again because I was in my mojo. Um, I think Tuesday might have been when I, yeah, Tuesday might have been when I finished this section. When I finished, um, let's see if I can move the camera. There, there we go, move the camera, much better. Tuesday might have been when I finished this section because I started it on uh, Monday. So, um, I finished off that section and I decided I was just going to rest and, you know, chill out and see what life brought me. I started looking into St. Patty's Day crafts because I really want to get in back into using my Cricut machine and, um, things like that. So I went down the rabbit hole of... <laughs> Cricket on TikTok. Do I need to say more? Oh my gosh, guys. Have you ever just sat and searched Cricut videos on TikTok? There are so many. There are so many amazing creators. And then I was like, I started feeling bad about myself because I was like, well, if all these people can do it, why can't I? And then I was like, well, you can't because you have pain in your knee and blah, 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 blah. But then I was like, well, all these other people do too. I mean, if you think about it, the majority of creators on YouTube, on TikTok, have a similar story. Most of us have a chronic illness, or a lot of us do, 
have chronic illnesses that brought us to our love for crafts. Um, can't work. So we're home and playing with our crafts, right? A good number of us anyway. So I was like, so if they can do it, I can do it. So I started, ow, sorry, my knee. I started going through and, you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So I took a ride to the Dollar Tree and I got some frames, different styles and stuff, and came up with a couple of crafts I wanted to do for St. Patty's Day. Now, whether I get them done or not in time for St. Patty's Day, don't judge me. Do not judge me, I'm telling you. I'll be very upset if you judge me. This is a no judgment zone. All right, now that we got that out of the way. <laughs> oh God, I used to be the type of person that when I put a goal in front of me, I made it. It didn't matter if I stayed up, if, if I had to stay up till the wee hours of the night, I was gonna make it. Nowadays, I'm like, eh, it was a good goal. So anyway, um, Wednesday. I was feeling a little better. So I decided to make chicken for dinner. I hadn't cooked in, I can't tell you how long. So I made some chicken, which is like the easiest thing to do. If you're just looking for something to make, you can make baked chicken so easily. You just... Throw the chicken on a, in a pan, put some salt, pepper, whatever spices you want, throw it in the oven at 400 for like 45, 50 minutes, and you're done. I mean, yeah, you have to make some sides, but it's the easiest, quickest thing to do in the world if you're just looking for something quick to make. It's like chicken, bam, there we go. By the way, I wonder how much chicken costs this weekend at the grocery store. <laughs> I'm kind of not looking forward to that one. I, we, I was able to get um, this, this chicken. We got uh, drumsticks for 99 cents or 89 cents a pound when, we, when I got them. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get that price. So uh, Thursday was beautiful in New York. Beautiful. How was the weather by you? I mean, it was gorgeous. I sat outside, felt like a gorgeous spring day, was really, really loving it. Um, and, oh, it was gorgeous. I sat outside, was thinking about how I can't wait till it gets warmer. And this summer I'm going to work on, you know, sitting outside more and just enjoying the outside because I have all my plants ready to go. Um, you know, the seeds at least, which I'm hoping to get planted this weekend because they, in our zone, they were supposed to be planted last weekend. So hopefully this weekend I'll get them planted. I don't think one weekend will alter them that much. So, um, it was, yeah, so sat outside for quite a bit on Thursday. Um, was watching the birds, saw a cardinal, which always makes me smile. Um, so there's a cardinal and so our woodpecker and just loving outside. So that always refreshes me. And uh, just really enjoyed Thursday. It was like one of those, I need a refresh day. Yesterday was Friday because today is Saturday morning. I'm not sure when you're gonna see this because I'm not sure when I'm gonna end up posting it actually. Hopefully you can, I'm gonna post it on Saturday. So yesterday was Friday. Um, Friday morning, I had the orthopedic to go over the CAT scan test from last week. So that was at like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I was really nervous about it because I had gotten the CAT scan results last Friday night. They were really quick about giving the results. Um, I love this place. They, they put the results in the patient's charts hours after they do the test, which is amazing. It's amazing. But then Dr. Google kicks in. So all week I've been Googling what the CAT scan says, and you know how bad that is. Don't, everybody says, don't Google it. Yeah. 
yeah so I've, I've basically been a wreck since last Friday night but I was trying not to show it I was trying oops I turned the light off I was trying not to show it I was try I was really really trying to be calm about things and not not freak out and just uh you know go with the flow and everything because you don't know so um oops sorry I totally turned off my ring light that's above me there we go so I was trying to be calm and I was like you know whatever it is the doctor will tell me so I was really nervous about going to him yesterday I went to see him and he was completely compassionate which scares the heck out of me. When a doctor is really compassionate, it worries me. Why are you being so compassionate? He was like, oh, I can see you're in pain. You know, I'm really sorry you're this frustrated. You should have been healed so much quicker. You know, um, I'm going to try a round of steroids. And we're going to hope that works because if the steroids don't work, we're going to be looking at a major knee operation and we're going to have to decide if it's worth it for to do it on you because it might actually make things worse. So, so now I'm like, oh, great. Like, please work, steroids. Please work. Um, so I was hoping the doctor was going to be like, oh, you know, you have a torn whatever. And, you know, we'll, we'll go in there and we'll fix it and then things will be great, you know. But no, uh, we don't know. And it's a major surgery and we don't even know if it's going to help. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Wait, wait. <laughs> so I kind of left there yesterday. Um, not too confident. I'm kind of scared. Um start the steroid treatment today which is a steroid that supposedly is three times more potent than uh, prednisone and I guess we see what happens um, so we'll see I don't know I I'm not feeling that great about that one but I know that I'm at the point where I need to do something about the pain because I can't stay in this level of pain and I definitely can't start taking pain pills and f functioning because I'm not about that lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that can function on pain pills. <laughs> so anyway, so that was my week. So now look at this. I got this whole section done. There are so many of these. Oh, hey, did you guys see Miss uh, Coffee rebranded? Or I should say Mrs. Crochet and Coffee did a rebrand. Isn't that exciting? Go check it out if you haven't seen it. I actually didn't watch her um, Friday Night Live yet. After I finish doing this whip and chat, I'm going to watch it before I even edit this whip and chat. That's why I said I don't know when I'm going to put this one up. Because I just want to sit with my coffee and watch her. Um, I also have coming for the channel. Let's talk about good things coming for the channel. I had mentioned last weapon chat maybe that I signed up for a craft club and I was going to do the craft club box on the channel. Well, the craft club box got here. I'll show you. It's actually sitting by my desk. It got here, which this is what it is. It came yesterday. Whoop. So can we guess what it is? I'm guessing it's some kind of sign. Now you got a sneak preview of the kit that they sent me. I'm guessing it's some kind of sign. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a video on that today or tomorrow, because if it's a St. Patty's Day sign, I definitely wanna get it done before St. Patty's Day. But I'm actually hoping it's something for Easter because that would be much better than trying to rush to get a St. Patty's Day sign done. So what I'm probably going to do is finish this video, um, clear off my table and do the unboxing of that video 
and then do my peaceful time of just watching the videos that I missed last night. So that would be Miss Coffee and Miss Crochet and um, Ruby Q if she went on. Because I love just chilling with my coffee and watching them there. I'm so funny. Hashtag goals, right? Wish my life was that interesting. I don't do it. Like, I go to appointments and I'm home. I have my fur babies. That's it. My fur babies are doing good. Um, Jackie's getting... Jackie's actually getting more social. Yay. Um, they're both sleeping right now, which is what they pretty much do all the time. So they're both sleeping. Uh, they don't fight as much. They pretty much walk around each other. I think they've established dominance or established a pattern and a way of life. Uh, at least how they can handle each other, how they can deal with each other. Oops. I just realized that I wasn't. Look at how much I got done talking to you. Yay. I think they've established a hierarchy or they've established something between the two of them. So things have gotten better with them. Um, yeah. And all I want is a dog. And I know I can't have one. But I miss my dog so much. I had a lab beagle, a, a lab beagle. She, she was, she looked like a lab, but she had the ears of a beagle. She was the cutest thing. And she was the size of a beagle. And she had the whine of a beagle. If you've had a beagle or you know somebody who has, and you know that beagle whine, that's what my baby had. I had her for, I think, 11 years. Oh my God. I miss her so much. She was with me through my separation, through, oh my God, through so much. And uh, I miss her so much. She just was the best dog ever. <laughs> she was cute. She was lovable. She never hurt anybody. She was, her name was Gixie. G-I-X-X-I-E. 50 points if you can figure out where that name was from. And none of my friends are allowed to comment here. <laughs> if you can guess where Gixie, G-I-X-X-I-E, why I would name a dog that, I will... Let's see. If you can guess that, because I don't think anybody will, I will send you a $10 Amazon gift card. But you have to know why the dog was named Gixie. G-I-X-X-I-E. And it's only open, um, this contest is only open until Monday, March 14th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So we'll see if anybody guesses it. If you guess it, I will send you, and you can't be my friends because all my friends know. Little buggers. You all know. <laughs> so this will be interesting. See if anybody figures it out or anybody knows. Then if you know, you know. And then like, if you know, I'll be very impressed and we can be like real buds. So anyway, yeah, I miss her though. Like she was my first real pet. Like I've had pets at my parents' house and everything, but it's not the same as when it's your dog, you know? Like when I called, I got her, when we got her, I called my father and I said, you're going to be a grandpa. And he was like, uh, what? And I had just moved to Kentucky and he was quite panicked for a moment. And then I sent him a picture of the dog and he felt much better. <laughs> he felt much better about life. 
She was the best thing. Everybody loved her. My landlords even cried when she died. It was very sad. But anyway, enough about that. But spring always makes me want a dog. It's the best time to walk dogs. If you have a dog, take your dog for a walk if it's nice today. They're the best walking partners. So back to my seeds before I get out of here. I am hoping to get my seeds planted today just because I would like to, you know, in a few weeks have that growth there. It's going to be a lot to clear out my garden area this year because I kind of just, there was a hurricane coming. <laughs> last I remember last year, we were having a hurricane coming and I needed help putting all my stuff, tying all my stuff down, all my pots and stuff. So they were thrown in the back, they were tied down, and I never got back to them because it was kind of like the end of the season. So they've been there since then. So all the soil has to be tossed this year. Um, all the soil has to be tossed this year. So I'll be starting fresh on everything. Just kind of a shame because I did have some perennials but I don't know which pots are the perennials. I'm bad with that. So what I think I might do this year is actually use outdoor vinyl on for the pots and label all the pots, um, like basil and, you know, whatever they are. That would be kind of cool. That's a good project to have because the outdoor vinyl should last. So that would be really neat. I think I might do that this year. That'll be a nice project to do. And then every year, I'll know which perennials, which are perennials. And then I can at least be organized, right? So um, if I did that, then, sorry, I'm just thinking through my idea out loud with you guys. And if you want to help in the comments, by all means, please do. But I'm thinking if I did that, then I can put like a round sticker that says P or A somewhere on the pots, maybe even like on the bottom. The bottom it might wear off though. Um, maybe like on a, on a the edge or something that says P or A, like real tiny. That lets me know if it's perennial or or a um, or a uh, annual. I can even make it like, what about this, guys? What if I did it like this? What do you think? What if I did it almost like, let me see my notes. What if I did it almost like the, I'm so bad. My diamonds are going to pop off. What if I did it almost like the copyright sign, but inside I put like a P out of the waterproof vinyl for perennial? Or I did an A. For annual and I put it after like say say this one says basil right because it's my basil and then I had a little tiny pea here I don't even know if basil is a perennial I'm just saying what if I did it like that that might work see I come up with I have notebooks look this is one notebook this I'm sitting at my desk right now I want to show you this this is one notebook for ideas okay there's one notebook for ideas. This is for my whipping chat. I just, this is me. This is another notebook for whipping chat ideas. This is another notebook for ideas, right? Wait, wait. This is just at my desk that has three, three drawers. This is another notebook for ideas. Wait, just wait. I know I'm supposed to be. This is my daily gratitude journal. This is another notebook just for just for ideas. Kind of a plain one. This is another notebook. This is another notebook. I think that might be it. So that's what? One, two. Three, four. 
Oh, and then there's this one, which is my shadow work notebook. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, did you just see what I did? Eight, nine notebooks. Did you see what I just did? Oh guys, did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, I am not happy right now. Oh gosh, that is going to be my cue to say we are at 40 minutes. I just dropped all the drills. Look at that. Can we say a prayer for me, please? Please say a prayer for me. Because I was all excited showing you my notebooks and I got stupid and clumsy and look what happened. <sighs> please say a prayer for me. <laughs> say a prayer where's mrs coffee i need her to say a prayer for me she always says the, the drill prayer when people drop their drills i need you now i need you oh god all right i am gonna let you guys go on that note i'm gonna let you guys go this is klutzy me letting you go i hope you guys have a beautiful week i will see you soon um i will link you uh i will um, I hope that you will check out the video I'm having, I'm going to do next of the craft kit that I have coming up and I will see you next week in my whipping chat. Please don't. As always, be happy, be creative, and above all, be you.